Everyone has their take on Kevin Durant. But what you can't deny is that KD is a one-of-a-kind scorer. And I would even say he's the most proficient scorer in NBA history. So we'll break down his whole arsenal. But first, let's just take a look at these stats. If he averages his career average, playing 75 games a year, and plays only five more seasons, he's on track to become the fifth highest leading scorer ever. Mind you, that would only be 17 seasons played. Plus, if we're being honest, KD's scoring numbers took a hit in Golden State. In his last three full seasons with the Thunder, he averaged 29.4 points per game. With the Warriors, he only averaged 25.8, even though he did shoot better from the field. So the stats back it up. But if you just look at it from a pure basketball perspective, KD's offensive game is so versatile that I just don't see being able to consider any other player as a better scorer. Let's get into it. So first we'll take a look at his outside game. With his height, wingspan, and high release point, it's been said that KD releases his shot over 11 feet in the air. If we're being honest, a good amount of NBA players can barely reach that with a full speed and full effort jump, let alone a standing jump from their heels. So KD knows he can get a shot off at literally any time without being blocked. And there's a certain confidence that comes with that. But still, who likes contested shots? KD's so good at creating separation on the perimeter that he doesn't even really feel that pressure most of the time. Plus, I've never seen a player of his height get the ball in his shot pocket, or what I call the ideal ball position to shoot from, so quickly off of the dribble or on the catch. It's impressive, and it makes the process of getting the ball from the dribble into releasing the shot so much smoother and quicker. Like right here, KD has the ball hanging outside his body. The next thing you know, the ball's in perfect position to shoot from. Every great scorer has a go-to move, or a few go-to moves, that they just consistently use to create options and put pressure on the defense. For KD, this is his hang hesitation. His first look at it, this seems to be to shoot, and for him, that's smart, because no one's blocking that. And plus, it just gets some rhythm into a shot. If you ever use this into a shot, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Just watch how he hangs the ball as he gets his feet set comfortably. And he consistently knocks it down with both hands. Crazy. But the reason why it's such a threat is because KD can easily blow by on this. If you play the shot and move up, he's blowing right by. And even more dangerous is that hanging cross. If you fall into the trap of moving with the ball, he can yank that crossover back and get separation. There's no way to win as a defender. And that had enough time to recover from out of the baseline. The On the pick and roll, KD gets so many threes directly off the screen. And that's just because the hedge man plays off, because it's so easy for him to get by that it's an easy rhythm shot for him. And when KD gets hot, it's over. Oh yes, oh yes. Oh, come on. Final seconds. <laughs> Katie's stride length is so long that one or two steps can get him from nearly the three point line without dribbling. Because he doesn't have to dribble on these steps, it's almost like a turbo button, letting him put that foot on the gas a little bit more and sneak past defenders. This also applies on the first step out of a move. KD is quick with it, but also covers a ton of ground on that stride and helps him get his shoulder at the defender's hip. And when you don't have to dribble, you're able to protect the ball a lot better. And KD does that well by using his length to gather the ball over his head to keep out of the defender's reach. Plus, KD is able to get so close to the basket that it's insane, even when jumping from very far out. Watch out here he stretches to get to the rim even from the outer edge of the paint. Plus, it really helps that KD's able to jump and finish seemingly equally off of two feet and one foot. Different situations require different jumping mechanics, but KD's very versatile as an athlete in that sense. I'm sure you've heard about guys being able to score at all three levels, at the bucket, mid-range, and three. Well, I see Durant as a four-level scorer. He has a bag of floater slash runner slash leaner shots just outside the paint that are some of his most useful shots. It's not a mid-range shot, but it's also not really a finish either. If his momentum is carrying him away from the bucket, it's really no worry for him. 
His touch and body control are so insane here that he can put up these shots contested with contact and still score with ease. And speaking of contact, people make fun of how skinny he is, but I don't think a lack of strength has ever been a crutch for KD. Not in the last 10 years at least. Plus most bigger guys will lack the ability to move the ball in air and adjust their finish. Not KD. His body control and motor skills are so good that he's able to move the ball while in midair to both protect the ball and fake the defender. You hear all the time about players getting to their spots. Well, KD is one of the best at this. He knows where his spots are, the elbow area mainly. And he gets there to operate. A lot of the time even going away from the basket to do so. In the mid post, what makes him such a big threat here is just being able to face up and knock down that contested jumper. Because of that, defenders can't leave any space, which makes it so much easier for KD to get by his defender. Like here, KD reads the defender's top foot and that he's way too close, so he just rips and blows by. And even if he can't blow past, he gets him shifted out of position, in which case he can just spin back into a turnaround, or simply pull up. And these turnarounds are easy for him. He rotates well, hangs the perfect amount, and then calmly knocks it down. KD's always been a threat off the ball, but with the Warriors, he's really gotten acclimated to that role and has learned a ton, and it shows. He's always been dangerous shooting off the ball, but now he realizes how important setting screens can be, how important cutting hard to the bucket can be. And it's crazy to watch how easily KD gets his defenders moving uphill before going back door. Because he scores so well, just a step towards the screen will cause him to jump up and leave him open. And this is mostly because of how well he comes off a pin down. He comes off a good pace, stays on balance, and takes the best option. Plus, he can be a role man in the pick and roll. There's really not much he can't do. Then in the clutch, you can't really argue that KD doesn't have a killer instinct. Even since his younger days, he's been knocking down big shots for his whole career. Yet a lot of people do have other feelings about KD, which is understandable. So I'm interested to see what you think. Let me know in the comments, is KD a top 3 or even the best scorer of all time? Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and stay tuned for much more.